Okay, uh, it's a video on how to make your own transparent drone, AR drone, um, bottom plate. Uh, so I just got my drone about, about two weeks ago. Bought it used off someone, and uh, I've been looking at the mods and stuff that they have available. And pretty much, you know, I was looking at the bottom, clear bottom plate, and that, that's pretty cool. And I thought, you know, 10 bucks is a lot for a piece of plastic with some double sided tape. So I said, hey, why can't we just make our own? So I'm going to make this video to show you that I took this plastic packaging that I had, it's actually from a fuel pump from uh, Harbor Freight. And pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the outline of the bottom of the drawing. I took this right off my drawing. I took the bottom plate off. I'm gonna trace it with a very fine Sharpie. And I'm going to cut out this really carefully. And I should have a bottom plate for my drone by the time I get done. Okay, I traced the outline of the outside. And you also wanna remember to uh, trace the hole for the, the camera that you're gonna have to cut out and also the uh, ultrasound emitters you want to make sure you get that hole okay just finished uh, tracing the ultrasound holes and also the camera hole this is actually just a clear thing um so it's, it's actually plastic still it's just clear so you don't have to make a hole for that in the middle so we should be all set i'm just going to start cutting it out okay so i'm going to take this part of the bottom of the drone off to the side and now we should have a template that we're going to cut out for our clear bottom plate of our droid uh, the great thing i think is that you're recycling plastic so man you throw it anyways so why not do it here uh just remember that you traced it on the outside so what you really want to try to do is cut on the inner side of the line you have to be really careful cut into the plastic Template right there, it's easier than rotating the full box all around. If you get to the very edge, you might just want to twist it off so that way, if you have problems lining it up, whatever, just twist it right off. And then we just have to cut out the ultrasound holes and the bottom little camera hole. I'm borrowing that cutting board from the kitchen. I'm sure, my wife is totally staff about me doing that, but I'm gonna borrow it. And I've got my box cutter. Try to cut out these holes as neatly as I can. Two ultrasound holes and a camera hole. I took the uh, box cutter. Hobby knife will probably work too. And I made sure it went in the middle of the hole really carefully. Put slats into it. And I'm gonna cut that hole out basically. So did a cross. Gonna cut it out. Now while you're doing this, you wanna match it up with your drone. Uh, you can see that I have a little bit of cutting to do on the ultrasound, I think you can see that. You wanna make sure that the camera lines up with the hole that you've drawn. So I hope you can see that. But uh, it's looking good so far. Okay, I got both holes cut. You can kinda of see that. And I'm gonna line it up with the drone again. So let's see. Remember, you always wanna line up the camera hole. And I have some cutting to do right here. Okay, it's looking really good. Lined it up. It's looking really, really sharp. Remember, this is handmade, so it's not going to be like machine made. But you can definitely do something like this. Uh, it cost me nothing. I have the plastic. I have the tools. So I'm just making my own bottom. There you go. And honestly, this is a little thinner than what they give you on the actual droid on the regular black bottom. So take a little bit of weight off uh, as far as crashing I mean I did the zip tie mod so I'm not totally worried about that but uh, take that into account when you have the bottom plate here's what I did for the little bottom hole right here um, I made a small little incision with my box cutter and then I found a screwdriver with the proper screwdriver bit Phillips head bit and I basically stuck it right through the hole and obviously it's gonna leave a little bit of plastic I don't know if you can see that up but you could probably sand that down or 
I'm gonna try cutting it with scissors, but all you have to do is get that off, and then it's gonna be totally flat and ready to go. So, all right, it's not uh, perfect. It's not pretty like you'd get one for 10 bucks, but it's definitely clear. And it definitely does the job. And now, we'll take a look at the bottom camera, make sure it looks good. Okay, I have it taped down, uh, mostly flat. It'll be even more flat when I get the double sided tape. We'll have to until tomorrow. All right, last video. We have the uh, shield on there. I think it's looking good, looks good. I will have to do double-sided tape on that, but everything's looking good so far. And let's see what the bottom camera looks like because we wanna make sure that that hole is not blocked already. We're already connected to our drone. Free flight software. Clearly see that the bottom camera works fine if I put my hand underneath it. And it sees my hand. So it's all set. Uh, it totally works.